So if you're a marketing writer, uh, very often what you'll be asked to do is actually ghostwrite for someone else. Uh, ghostwriting is actually very challenging because obviously it's not something that you're putting your name to, someone else is doing that. Uh, so they have to feel some sense of ownership over it. Uh, what I like to do is actually work with uh, my author and interview them, not only for sort of the content of the piece, but also to get a sense for how they want to talk about things. Um, you find, of course, everybody has their own way of speaking, their own speech patterns. And if you're not a good note taker, then you should use like a voice recorder or something like that and get as, as full quotes as you possibly can get. I like to take full quotes from my notes and drop them right in the piece. Uh, that way, uh, the author actually sees that and they are able to identify uh, their own speech pattern and it kind of feels like they own the piece a little bit more. I also like to provide a bullet point outline uh, that's just you know a few of those uh, samples of my notes, you know, a few sentences that they spoke uh, to give them a sense for what exactly will appear in the final piece and give them a chance to give feedback, clarify any sort of thoughts uh, before the piece is written. So that's sort of the creative process that I go through to ghostwrite for a client and it helps them feel like they actually own the piece a little bit more than if I were to just write it in my own voice. I feel like I'm, I'm sitting in the, uh, in like a deer stand and I'm waiting for like the world to be quiet so I can like, <laughs> I was like the, <laughs> that was the period at the end of that sentence right there. <laughs>